Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Augustus the Animator. Today I'm going to teach you how to do subtitles and captions. We see subtitles like every day, all the time, but if you haven't made them before, there's a couple little tricks that are really important that'll save you a ton of time. And here is the video that we're going to be making. Yo, Taylor. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm going to let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. I will not be apologizing for the content of the video that I subtitled, and if you don't like it, you're going to have to look somewhere else for a subtitle tutorial. Anyways, let's get started. All right, we're in After Effects. I've already put the video into the project finder, or the project window, excuse me, and then dropped that into a composition and trimmed it to where I want it to be. So we're all set to go there. That part's pretty simple. And I'm just using a piece of pop culture history. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Like you even need subtitles for that. We all know what he's saying. Let's go to the first part where we hear somebody talk. Yo, Taylor. I heard him say, yo, Taylor, because he did. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna select the rectangle tool, make our fill black, take our stroke off, because I don't want any stroke. I'm going to do a basic black box. You can do one with rounded edges. You can do a special holding device if you want to, but for the purpose of this, oops, we're going to do just a standard black box. So I'm going to just draw one really quickly. Clearly the stroke did not work. Take the stroke off. Great. Uh, and then we're going to, uh, let's see get our line window up. So do window, oh, where is it? There she is. Align this to the center. Yeah, okay, great. And then I'm gonna hit the Y key to select this uh, anchor point, bring him down. Doesn't need to be perfect, but I just wanna scale this down a little bit. Maybe something like that, give or take. And then I'm gonna click the text button fill this whole thing because that's probably as long as i would ever want text to be on here and just type some things i'm gonna do yo taylor we're gonna fix that asap uh, this is a really small composition which is why this looks so um pixelated because we're zoomed in at 200 percent already uh but yeah don't so don't worry about that uh let's oops do character to align this to the center, excuse me, paragraph. And for sure, change this font. We're just gonna do, we're gonna go with Lucida Sands because that looks neutral and uh, I'm not too concerned about the font for this. Gonna scale it down to something that seems appropriate for this video size. Yo, Taylor, what's up? Okay, I'm gonna refine the spot that the audio starts to come in. Yo, Taylor. Gonna select both of these, do uh, Alt left bracket to cut them off so they appear right when I need them to start. And I am going to twirl down on my text layer and then twirl down text and where it says source text, I'm gonna do click the little stopwatch, make a keyframe. And you'll notice that this is a square. The in a square keyframe is a hold keyframe versus the normal diamond. Um, or just the standard ones, which I'll explain in just a second. And it's actually perfect because we want to do the same thing for this guy. And we're not going to, we're going to re be resizing this, right, to fix, fit the text as it comes on, but we're not going to do that with scale. We're going to twirl down contents rectangle, rectangle path, and we're going to adjust the size. I'm going to unlink this and um, keyframe it. We're going to adjust size because that way, um, if you if this like had like a rounded corner or if this was a different shape, it's not going to get warped by stretching the scale of it. Um, but the, and so this will make sure by adjusting the size, it's going to ensure that whatever shape you meant for it to be is going to remain unwarped. So that's important. So we made a keyframe there, and then we're going to select our look keyframe, our normal looking keyframe. Right click him, do toggle hold keyframe, and what that is going to do is instead of having um, let's see. Let's move to the next, the next sentence so I can show you an example. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm let. You, I, 
I'm okay, right about here it says I'm really happy for you, which is a bold-faced lie, but that's not what this tutorial is about. So I'm going to type in, I'm really happy for you. And you'll see that it automatically makes a keyframe because we've adjusted the value, which is source text, which is just the text. Um, and so this is, this is what the hold keyframe does. There's no change in between the keyframes. It's going to hold this value up until this next keyframe, which makes sense for text because there's no in between for like these letters to get to these letters, you know, that kind of just makes sense. Um, and we want to adjust the size of this box, which I didn't do in the first one, but we're going to do it for this one to be, um, I honestly just estimate it if it feels like it's a comfortable space or actually I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Oops. No, I'm not. Excuse me. One down. You can scroll down on that too. It'll do the same. Uh, let's do like a little bit smaller actually and adjust this, make it fit in there. And general rule of thumb have um, a space similar to the top and bottom of these letters or between this letter and the edge of the box have something similar over here. If it's not, if it's not feeling right, adjust it and um, you know, don't, don't stress over it. We're gonna go back over here to this first keyframe, make this go much smaller, right around there. Caleb! I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. Perfect. And so then you can see if we did two normal keyframes right here, this would be growing, this box would be growing the whole time to eventually get up to this size at this point. But since we have hold keyframes, it's gonna hold this value, this size value, until we get up here, which is perfect because otherwise you'd have to do, you know, one keyframe right here that has the same value as this then adjust it like on the next frame and it gets really messy. And then if you have to adjust, it gets even messier and just way tedious and it's not necessary. And so that's honestly Yo, Taylor. pretty much the whole lesson, but we're just going to really quickly finish this out. I I'm really happy for you. I'm let you finish. I I'm really happy for you. I'm A lot of it is just timing when you pause and getting the cursor in the right spot to start these edits. What do you say? I'm a, let you finish. I don't really know how to spell I'm a, I'm going to do that. I'm gonna let you finish. Let's adjust this quick. Right around there. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had finish. Okay, right there is where he says, but Beyonce. I know there's a thing on the E, but I just can't do that right now. But Beyonce had one of. Pretty sure he says that. I don't know. I haven't watched this before. Okay. But Beyonce had one of. But Beyonce had one of the best They had one of the best They had one of the best Okay, you kind of just, if they talk really fast, sometimes it's okay to maybe half this to on a little longer than uh, and then he's actually saying it for just so the viewer has time to read. I want to have the best music videos of all time! Exclamation point. Because that's, my god, if that's not an exclamation, I don't know what is. Okay. I'm gonna adjust my black box as well. Let's watch to see where we're at. Oop, adjust this, all right. No Taylor. Oop. No Taylor. Okay, that comes in late, right? No. You can just, you can hear it, you can feel it. So we're gonna adjust, gonna move back a little bit. Hit uh, Alt, left bracket to extend them back out here. And the hold keyframes are still working in these positions too, so that's great. No Taylor. I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Ooh, I added music. He doesn't say that. Ha <laughs> ha. Great. And adjust. Bam. And you know what? My God, she did have one of the best music videos of all time. But anyways. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. And then right here, this is on screen for a while. He's done talking. And it seems like this happens to work out to where we the video cuts, so that feels like a good place for me to cut this as well. I'm gonna select both of these, hit Alt right bracket to cut them off right there, and just finish out the video. Finish out the video with no subtitles on that last frame so we can see all of Beyonce's face. Cause... 
Yo, Taylor. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. That's all there is to it. I'm not gonna do any more because you just do the same thing for as long as whoever's talking. You can adjust opacity. You can do whatever you want. You can add a drop shadow onto the text and do some opacity to make it less jarring, whatever you feel. But the most important thing is to remember to right click your keyframes after you've done the size and do toggle hold keyframe because that's going to be a real game changer in terms of uh, time that you're sinking into this and tediousness. That's it. That's all I got. Subtitles are easy. I hope you think so too. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you feel so inclined. Uh, every little bit helps, makes me feel good. And I really appreciate it. Uh, leave comments below or questions if you have a question about this video or would like to see something else in the future. I am happy to make videos based on user or viewer request. Uh, thanks again and have a great day.